All right, man, we back. Uh, Goodfellas Sports TV in the building. Let's talk a little bit of NBA. Uh, reportedly, Giannis wants to play with uh, Chris Paul. I'm going to tell you why it may not change anything. But first, let's talk about Billy Donovan becoming a new head coach of the Chicago Bulls. And I think it's a great fit, um, great coach, um, great coach on, on both levels, you know, NCAA level and also on the NBA level. I think he did an amazing job with Oklahoma City Thunder. Obviously, he didn't get over that hump. Because Russell Wilson, I mean Russell Westbrook and Paul George just absolutely suck in general. And then also last year, they just didn't have the horses. But um, but yeah, I think it's a good fit for Chicago. I had one of my boys say, I don't think it's a good fit for the playing style they got there. Chicago isn't a finished product. They're going to do a lot of moving. They don't know if they're going to keep with keep rolling with Lloyd Marketing, Wendell Carter. I mean, they got a lot of pieces that could move. Um... Kobe White, Zach Levine, good backcourt, but can they defend? And can Kobe White become more of a, uh, more of a facilitator than a scorer? Can he more shooting guard than point guard right now? And they just got they got a lot of room to be molded and a lot of adjustments to be made um, there. But I think Billy Donovan is probably one of the top eight, maybe even five coaches in, in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? He done a great job with Oklahoma City Thunder, back-to-back -back national championships in Florida. I don't even think a lot of coaches done that. Tom Izzo. Not sure Mike Krzyzewski done that, and he got, and they cheat for him like a mug. When he when he be cheating and allegedly paying for players, they sweep it right, right under the rug. That just let you know certain players got the, certain coaches got the complexion for the protection. You feel what I'm saying? But I think Billy Donovan is a great fit for Chicago. It's a great get, huge upgrade over with it boiling that they had last time. He was total trash. He one of those old school guys that try to you know crack the whip on these young guys. The way Parcell coached, the way Pat Riley used to coach. You know, and the dude they had last time was a Jim Boylan. That don't work with the, the, the youth no more. That don't work with this generation. They didn't turn the NBA into a players league. So if the players don't like you, they they going to get rid of you. You know, and there's some pros and some cons to that. But it's the ultimate players league right now. Not the NFL, NHL. I mean, it rivals the MLB. I think MLB is the ultimate players league. Excuse me. Um, Just look at the contracts and the money that they're getting. And it's a dying sport and the TV ratings continue to fall. But Billy Donovan is in a good position. He got talent. They're going to get more veteran talent going down there. So I think Chicago got a bright future. They got a good front office now. And uh, that same ownership did win six titles with Mike. So if they get out the way and let the GM and let the coach do their job, I think Chicago, you know, in this decade might be competing for a championship if everything go right. Now, Giannis reportedly wants to play with Chris Paul. I think it's a, it, it can be a good fit. But the problem is Giannis is ball dominant. Chris Paul is ball dominant. Giannis can only be a slasher and a cutter. Um, so if they can get Giannis slashing and cutting, it should help. But also, you, can you bank on Chris Paul being healthy for two straight years in a row? And also, you know, can Giannis develop a catch and shoot? Can he develop a post game? Can he even develop a mid-range game? That's the question. Can he develop that floater? You know, it would be good to get him moving out the ball. But if that was the case, I believe Eric Blesser was good enough to, to play with the ball in his hand. I believe Chris Middleton is good enough to play with the ball in his hand. So when they started to focus on Giannis and build that wall in the playoffs, why they just didn't do two more ga two man game with Giannis and, and, and Middleton and Giannis and, and um and Bledsoe? That's my question about it. Um they never let Giannis and I mean Bledsoe and Middleton really, you know, show what they can do with the ball in the hand. Giannis is so ball dominant because he can't do nothing without the ball in his hand. He's similar to Ben Simmons. He just bigger strong he's just bigger than Ben Simmons and probably stronger than Ben Simmons. They both good defenders, but you know Giannis ain't even managed the the basic necessities of being the big guy. He don't know how to drop step. He don't know how to hook over the right shoulder, left shoulder. He don't know how to do the sheet turn around. He don't know none of the Kevin McHale moves or none of the Bernard King block moves. So you know how can you know how can Chris Middleton? I mean how can Chris Paul be any different from Chris or Chris uh, Eric Bledsoe? Excuse me. You know if Giannis doesn't learn how to play without the ball, yeah, you can get him slashing and cutting to the rim, but that's only gonna take you so far in postseason game. Half court defense is gonna be able to set in on that. So what happened when he can't slash and cut to the rim no more? Can he can he you know hit a floater? Can he hit a mid range jumper? Can he create a post game where he could play high and we could play low high with the players where you know he could post up and they gotta send a double team. He kick it out. Chris Paul, Chris Milton can shoot the shot. It's the question. He didn't let Eric Blesso be the player that he can be. And Mike Bud Mike Budenholzer didn't create an offense where. Giannis could be effective without the ball. Even if it's slashing and catching oops and moving out the basketball, he don't have anything else. He don't have a jump shot. He don't have a mid-range. He don't have a floater. He don't have a post game. So they're not going to go nowhere 
unless they get Giannis to be able to fully develop as a full developed superstar. And like I said before, he is one of the most overrated players in the league because he's a lot of things he can't do. He can't post. He can't shoot. He can't. He can't do a floater. You know what I'm saying? He don't have a mid range jumper. You know, he. I mean, to be seven foot and not post. You know, that should be illegal. But um, I really don't think it matters unless Giannis develop his game or Mike Budenholzer. Um, you know, rehauls his offense. If he don't re re rehaul his offense, then it's really not going to work at all. But hey, let me know what you guys think about the topic. Check out our NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, response, your video quests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out for CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. One time for the one time we gone.